Hello and welcome back. Now, obviously, Mirage Prime is now a thing. Boo! I mean, yay. Admittedly, she does look absolutely fucking amazing. Got a bit of a Devil May Cry theme going on, I kind of feel. Particularly with Eclipse active when you're in the shadows. To me, that looks friggin' awesome. So I've gone for a bit of a demony feel with the whole fashion frame. Anyway, not much has actually really changed with Mirage. She's had a few QOL changes from time to time, mainly around her second ability. That weird little sleight of hand thing. It's, honestly, I would love to go for it all, but your best bet is honestly just get on the wiki and just read it because they've added this. Well, the jewel's been out for a while, but there's a jewel that does one thing, and then there's the booby traps within a certain radius of the activation that do another thing, and depending on what it hits, whether it be laser barriers, lockers, security cameras, corpus turrets, fortress turrets, Arokin turrets, fortress scanners, Arokin void laser consoles, and just pickups as well, and zip lines, which I actually didn't know reading it now. If you want to know completely what it does, it's all on the wiki. There is far, far too much there to read. You've obviously got Eclipse, which can bolster your damage up to like 750%. Although the one thing people seem to forget is you then need to take into account your mirrors. So the actual overall damage, including mirrors, is like 750 if you take them away, the actual buff you will get from the individual frame isn't quite that high. And when stood in shadow, I love the new mechanism for it by the way, it looks really cool. You take 95% less damage. So there are plus sides. Tanky Mirage being prime, she's got a little bit more health, a little bit more armor, which is nice to see. And obviously, the main gimmick with Mirage is press 1 and there's 5 of you, which does help increase your survivability, unless there's a bombard around, you're still screwed. And if you add in something like a pole arm or a whip weapon, or something like a very powerful... A weapon with a decent bit of range, you basically just turn into a walking blender, which is nice, I suppose. And with area weapons as well, such as things like... Ignis Wraith and the old Cancer, I mean classic Cyanoid Simulor or just Simulor, she can deal a vast, vast amount of damage on the old projectile front. I personally quite like using Phage and Ignis Wraith, however, Lens is a thing and it's bloody hilarious. By the way, I mean, this is for Corrupted Heavy Guns 150 and just it's not so much that it's quick, it's just funny to watch. It's there are obviously gonna be more effective ways, but it's just that is just funny to watch to me. It's just like, yeah, one of them is deadly enough, have three at a time. How's that for multi shot, you bastard? So obviously we've got the classic prism, which I don't really tend to use anymore, so I have actually swapped out natural talent. I find the casting speed of the rest of her abilities to be absolutely fine. I only really had natural talent on there because of Prism, but I don't really use it anymore. Since Blind has now become Line of Sight, I go for a much more sort of utility build to keep up the one and the three. Although I'd never try and activate them together, I have them in sort of like halfway between each other. So I'm getting, I've always got at least got one active then. And depending on what level I play at, I switch out her augments. If I'm at lower levels, like 60 and below, I go for Hall of Malevolence, particularly with something like Ignis Rave, because every time I kill something, which is all the time, it increases my mirror's damage by 5%, up to 50%, which does really, really help. And at higher levels, I go for the Explosive Ledger Domain, which does help just in general as CC, because obviously there's a lot of cold procs going on. 
So as I said, my build hasn't changed too much. Energy Siphon, Power Drift in the top two. I've swapped out Natural Talent for Primed Vigor, if not Vigor will do. Flow, Vitality, Streamline, Continuity, Intensify Stretch, and the last mod slot being for your Augment, depending on what you want to go for. Like I said, lower levels I use Hall of Malevolence. A bit higher up I go for Explosive Legend Domain. I've not had an excuse to use Total Eclipse to help buff my allies, but I'm sure I'll have it at one point. Anyway, thank you very much, and see you pretty soon. Have a wonderful Christmas, and don't get too fat. ta -ra.